Today, while I get ready, I'm going to be telling you guys how I dropped out of college, quit my job, and made YouTube my full-time job. So I'm going to be getting ready today, and I really want to talk to you guys while I get ready. So I'm just putting hand sanitizer all over my hand. I'll have a list of the things I'm using in my description box because today is going to be a story time. I don't want to be talking about everything that I'm putting on my face. So everything's going to be in my description box. And also, if you see me looking over here, it's because my mirror is over here. We're going to pretend that you guys are sitting next to me and we're getting ready together for a day out. But let's get started. I'm going to tell you guys about how I literally dropped out of college and made YouTube my full-time job. It was honestly one of the craziest things that have ever, ever, ever happened to me in my entire life. So I want to tell you guys about it because it's crazy and you guys have been a part of my journey. We'll start right off the bat. I started YouTube 2014, which was a long time ago. I was just uploading like random vlogs and I would... I was mainly doing it because I wanted memories to look back on. I, I've always taken videos on Snapchat, I've always taken pictures on Snapchat, and I love like Snapchat memories, but I wanted something more than that. And when I started watching YouTube and watching people like vlog, I was like, this is it, like this is what I want to do. I knew YouTube paid, I just didn't know how or how much or anything like that. So. I just decided that I wanted to make it my hobby. And ever since I was young, you know the whole idea of our parent of my parents coming to the US and everything was because they wanted me to get an education, they wanted me to get a good job, wanted me to make a future for myself. So, um it was always planted in me that I would go to college. So the idea of going to college was always the plan. It was never like Oh, you can't go to college. It was it wasn't a choice basically what I'm trying to say. It wasn't a choice and it was just something that I knew I had to do and that I was going to do. So we get to senior year and everyone's putting in college applications and their entire life, their dream was to go to some college. I remember my best friend at the time, her dream was to be accepted into CU Boulder. And um, I remember CU Boulder came to talk to us at school, gave us a presentation, talked to us about college applications. I remember like my friends applying to colleges and being like, oh, this application is only $50 and stuff like that. All my friends were applying to their dream schools and just finally everything that they had worked for was working out all of my dreams were sort of crushed when i realized the logistics of going to school or to college i mean so lately with the busy days that i've been having i've been wanting to put my lashes on a quicker way and i discovered magnetic lashes and specifically magnetic lashes from glamnetic a viral lash brand that is known for having the easiest application and it is perfect for beginners it is innovative and the lashes come in 50 plus styles they are also reusable and you can reuse them up to 40 times and i've been using their eyeliner so their magnetic liner is latex free paraben free and waterproof as well as smudge proof and it completely eliminates the use of lash glue which is one of the most tedious things for me and for a lot of people that i know that use falsies so you can either use their liquid liner now let me show you this it is very skinny and it is very easy to use or you can also use their felt tip liners so i'm gonna put both of them on the back of my hand just so i can show you how smudge proof they are so i'm gonna put a line of the liquid liner line of the felt tip liner as well and we'll let those dry so today i'm gonna be using the style lush here's the packaging it is beautiful it comes with a magnetic strip to keep your eyelashes put for when you take them off and for when you're going to reuse them now on each corner of the lash they come with let me see if i can focus it there you go they come with magnetic anchors each lash comes with two magnetic anchors that are great for that extra staying power so if you're going on a long 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 night out i recommend using the magnetic anchors but for now i take them off and i leave them in the packaging so for the eyeliner i like to shake it up a little bit and all you're gonna do is use it as you would regular eyeliner you can make a wing you can make just a line whatever you want and i always do this before putting mascara on my lashes gonna get close 
to my lash line so I just do something very simple. Sometimes I go all out and do a wing, but today we're gonna stay simple. After the eyeliner is on is when I go with mascara, and the only reason I go in with mascara is for blending purposes, just so my lashes blend well with the falsies. And this is when the true magic happens. So now what you're gonna do is get them as close to your lash line as possible. It already wants to stick, but I wanna place it perfectly. Did that or did that not take me like five seconds? <laughs> There you have it. That is the easiest, fastest way I've ever put falsies on. And now we're going to go in with waterproof mascara on the bottom lashes. It's as easy as that. Um, they are now on. It's super easy and it actually works. And I'm even going to tug on them and they won't come off. So let me show you this. It should be dry already. And if I rub it, nothing comes off still there it stays on it's perfect i absolutely love it and i also wanted to show you guys that glamnetic offers press on nails that come in 12 styles and last up to two weeks they are so beautiful look at them these are the two styles that i have and they're perfect if the nail salons around you are closed or if you just simply don't like wearing acrylics but you really want long nails each kit comes with 24 nails with 12 inclusive sizes and everything that you need to put them on effortlessly and the nail kits are vegan and cruelty free so there's no reason why you shouldn't try them and i'm gonna hook you guys up with my discount code blanca j to get 20 percent off of your order that's right my code is blanca j to get 20 percent off your glamnetic order and everything is going to be in the description box so thank you to glamnetic for sponsoring this portion of the video um i couldn't apply for fafsa because i wasn't born here so that meant that i was going to pay completely out of pocket basically going to if i wanted to go to cu boulder i was going to be going there as an international student because i wasn't born here so that was a huge part of it um kind of crazy when i figured out that i actually couldn't go to school here without being an international student and paying completely out of pocket so senior year came and went i graduated school and i was like okay what the heck am i gonna be doing now because i was just working in the fast food industry and that was pretty much it i heard about this institution in my town where you would go for two years and get your degree and work as whatever you were so at this institution you could either go for paralegal for um cosmetic like hair esthetician i think or some shit like that and as a medical assistant so i was like you know what being in the middle field doesn't sound so bad so i decided i was going to apply for this school i applied and it was for ibmc and i got in basically so i got into the school and when i went for orientation i found that my friend was also going to the school and i was like oh this is gonna be great like i'm gonna be going to school with one of my friends cool and my mom i remember my mom being so happy and i remember being so 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 like insanely happy because finally i was doing what my parents came here to do so i started going to college and then it hit me i was called up to the front office and we started talking about my payment and i remember this guy he was really rude and he made me feel like shit because i was going to be paying completely out of pocket he asked me oh let's apply for fafsa and then i told him i wasn't born here he's like okay then you can't apply for fafsa so now your monthly payment is going to be $1,400. And at that time, that tuition payment was going to be way more than what we paid for rent at our house. My mom said that we would make it work, we would do what we gotta do, but deep down in my brain, I knew for a fact that we could not afford this at all whatsoever. I was making like $200 a check from my job so i knew that there was no way that we could do that we're just not going to be able to afford me going to school so i was in school for a month and um some holiday was coming up where we didn't have school on monday so my friend that i went to college with told me that they were going on a trip to vegas and if i wanted to come with and i was like say less broke as shit didn't have one cent in my bank account but i was like i never been so let's go i remember i told my mom telling me to borrow like a hundred dollars and we went to 
Vegas to visit her brother and her sister-in-law and her sister-in-law had actually graduated from IBMC and she was a paralegal. She began to tell us that if she wanted to be a lawyer and she would have to start all over because credits from IBMC didn't transfer to freaking bigger colleges so you would have to start from zero. And I was like, that makes no sense. So if I graduate as a medical assistant and if I want to be a doctor and I want to go back to college for that, my credits won't transfer so I will have to start over and then pay all over again. That just made no sense and it made no sense to my friend either that was there. So we planned it out. We're like, we're going to come home and drop out of college. And that's exactly what we did. We were a weekend in Vegas, came home, dropped out of college, which was so crazy but i talked to my mom i had to set my mom down and tell her like everything and i was like on top of all of this like we can't even afford it because the monthly payment is ridiculous and if i didn't make the monthly payment i was not allowed to go back to school like i wasn't allowed to attend i'm not crazy so i lived my college dreams for a month and then i was out i couldn't keep going because it was just not it didn't make any type of sense in my head to go to somewhere where credits wouldn't transfer and somewhere where I was going to be spending $31,000 and paying all $31,000 because I couldn't get scholarships or anything like that. I didn't qualify for nothing. And I remember my mom was super devastated and I was like, I honestly don't care. It's not like my dream. That <laughs> it's not like my life dream was to be a medical assistant. Like everything's okay whatever happens happens and i'm gonna make it i remember i dropped out of college picked up more shifts at the where i worked at which was buffalo wild wings and i just made do with what i had and i was uploading on youtube i actually have a series that i was gonna start which was called chronicles of a broke college student and i think i uploaded one video and then i dropped out <laughs> So we dropped out in September, I worked up until March, and then in March I was like, okay, I can no longer do this, like I have to get a better paying job. So my friend, the same friend that I dropped out of college with, and I applied to a call center, like a collections call center, and we were brought in, and I worked in a call center which was the worst job of my entire life like i still to this day have nightmares of the beeping noise when a call was coming in and i remember we it was like these ridiculous things we had to do we had to like do eight hours on the phone we couldn't have we would have to ask to go to the bathroom like it was crazy so i was there for three months and i hated it there was this private clinic that i had been going to since I was 16 because that's when I got that's where I got my birth control because they had a they had a teen clinic where only teens could come in and get birth control and your parents didn't have to know it was confidential and that's how I got my birth control which I can make a whole story time about that so that same clinic I started going to for my yearly checkups I started doing everything at that clinic because I loved it so one day I go for my yearly checkup and then I told the girl I was like hey by any chance like are you guys hiring and she's like we're not hiring now but we we will be hiring in june so in june right away the beginning of june you call in and ask if we're hiring or go to our website and you apply there and i was like okay say less so june came i was at the call center very unhappy i hated it there and june came around and i applied for i applied for a patient services assistant which essentially means that i was doing checkout and checking patients out and taking their payments and all of that they hired me i put my two weeks in at the call center but i didn't finish them i started working at the private clinic which was by far my favorite job i had ever had in like the nine to five world i'm working at the clinic and i start uploading more on youtube and everything's going well going great nothing changed i was still getting like 10 views a video no worries and it was all from my best friends probably it was october I uploaded a Get Ready With Me featuring my Mexican music playlist and I uploaded it in October, didn't think anything of it, stayed at my job, everything was well, everything was dandy. Roll around February, I'm at the gym with Jonathan and I start getting like a lot, a lot, a lot of notifications and I'm like, what? From YouTube? What the heck? So I realized when I clicked on YouTube that my video that I uploaded in October 
getting ready with me for a quinceanera featuring my mexican music playlist was popping off like it was going a little bit viral or whatever and all the comments were like oh my god i love your mexican playlist can you please upload a video just dedicated to that and i was like say less girl first of all i my only talent in this world is that i can memorize song lyrics in one second and that i know a lot of song lyrics from literally all of my favorite songs so i went ahead and uploaded a mexican breakup playlist and that one also popped off i a whole article was written about it and um i had a lot of views on there i think my mexican playlist to this day has half a million views and i remember i was like holy shit like this is it mom moving to la <laughs> basically that was what i was thinking aside from the videos that had popped off my videos started growing so i started going up to 20k views a video 30k views a video and then my subscriber count started growing and growing and growing and i hit 100k subscribers and i made this whole deal out about out of it i got braces on on. And then a couple quite a few of my braces videos went viral um and now my most viewed video on my channel i think has a million views and it's like my braces update some shiz like that so i started vlogging and vlogging and uploading and uploading and they started getting traction and traction and i realized that i was really getting tired of filming editing and uploading while also going to work because it was so tiring and then i figured out how to apply for the google adsense program and then i get my first check from youtube and i'm like okay it was like 500 dollars i think and i was like okay i could i can deal with this and then the next month the check it kept going and growing and growing and then one day i got paid from youtube and it was double what i was making a month at my job at my nine to five getting paid 15 dollars an hour so i was like you know what if i'm making more money on youtube then it doesn't make sense to stay at my job so i sat my mom down again and she was devastated again because she didn't know the YouTube world. She didn't know nothing about what I was doing or what I was talking about. Like, she didn't know. All she knew was that I was telling her that I'm quitting my job to stay home and do nothing. Is what she thought in her head. So, I was like, no, mom. So, my mom was really scared. So, instead of me, like, completely quitting my job, I decided that I was just going to go once a week on Wednesdays. And that's it. And my managers and co-workers were absolutely amazing and supportive. And they could just not believe that like I was making a living on YouTube. But I just kept going once a week. At my job, I started I started like helping out the medical assistant. So I started like training to be an uncertified medical assistant basically, which was I was like, what the heck? I was about to pay $31,000 for this degree when my job they're training me. It was a private clinic, so they were training me to be a medical assistant without a certification. So I was like, this is freaking crazy. I was about to waste $31,000 when right now I'm not wasting anything, but they're still teaching me, which was mind-blowing. So I'm now done with my makeup and let me finish telling you guys the story. So I started going to work once a week. I would go in on Wednesdays just so I could be a little bit more comfortable and so my mom could be a little bit more comfortable with the decision. But then shortly after, I think I lasted about three weeks doing that and then I fully quit. I sat my manager down and I told her everything that was going on in my life and she was the sweetest. She looked me in the eyes and she said, if by any reason you ever need or want to come back to the clinic, just let me know and we will gladly take you back, which was so super nice of them. So I quit my job and I started going on YouTube full time and I started making double to triple the amount of money I made at my full time nine to five that's when my mom realized that i had made the, the right choice i was staying home i was helping her more driving her everywhere she wanted to go i was also providing for my family help, helping them with the bills and the rent and lifting weight off of their shoulders and taking my mom out to eat and spoiling my little sisters as i still do to this day so youtube you guys literally saved me when I dropped out of college, I never knew what my plan was going to be. I thought I was a failure. And then when I quit my job, I took a true leap of faith. And here I am two years later, still on YouTube, thanks to you guys. So that is how I dropped out of college, quit my job, and became a full-time YouTuber. Thanks to you guys, because without you, I would literally not be 
anything in this world so that is it for today's video if you guys want more story times about my youtube work life or you guys want more story times about anything just let me know in the comments down below and i will gladly do them for you but that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching i love you so much i appreciate you so so much and i'll see you in my next video but until then please always remember god goes glowing and growing